Well, everybody, the Beatles excitement continues. I got home late this afternoon, and look what was on my step. This is the other box, and I know this is going to be the colored vinyl for 62 to 66 and 67 to 70, so we're going to open it. And I know there have been uh, several videos already where a lot of people showed this already, so this is not going to be new to, to a lot of people out there. Maybe you've seen it already, but I'm sure there'll be a fair number of people viewing my channel who actually haven't seen it yet. So, okay, first question you have to ask yourself is, how did it arrive? Did it arrive in good shape? That's the first thing. Because I'm always very leery of ordering things online, you know that, through the mail. And of course, you don't usually have to worry about doing this on camera. Well, I'll tell you this much, it's very cold. It's cold out there. Well, whoa, and there goes my camera. <laughs> hey, that's pretty funny. But I'm not going to redo it. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to do I hit, I hit the camera. Okay. I'll do it. All right. But of course, look at this. There is a problem. There is a problem. First thing I noticed, the front looks great, right? But on the other side, you know, it, it, you know, sometimes, you know, I decide to leave the shrink wrap on. I just I just cut the shrink wrap open like this and leave the shrink on. Well, it's not, that's not an option here because it came like this. So, all you people out there that say, oh, why bother going to stores? Why not just order it online? That's why. That's exactly why. But, in this case, I don't think I had much choice because I think the colored vinyl was exclusive. So, it's exclusive to the Beatles store, I think. You know they would have you would have been able to get these somehow, but I'm gonna open it this way. I'll take the shrink off. No big deal. I'll save the hype sticker, I guess. Hype sticker will go inside or something. And there you go. I like the slip cover. It's not, you know, obviously it's not anything very creative. It's just the two albums here. But what I like about it is how solid it is. It's very solid, it's not flimsy. It better be for the price we're paying and there's the back i like the way they have the red album and the red letters and the blue album contents in the blue letters that's very nice there's the spine there you can see that all right so overall it arrived safely so let's get these albums out of here all right Blue album. Yeah, I'm not doing them in exact order. I'm doing blue and red instead of red and blue. All right, there's the red. But when I open these up, I'll start with the red. Now, the first thing you have to know is um, a lot of people are complaining about this, but I don't really see it as a problem, judging by these, because this this cardboard is good, is pretty solid, good and thick. Of course, there's three records in here, three records set. The first record is in the first sleeve. But what people are complaining about is that in the second sleeve, you got two records. Record two and record three are both, they say, jammed into that. But it's worse than it sounds. I mean, the spine is pretty thick. You see, it's not, uh, it's not flimsy or thin cardboard here. So the gatefold is the mad day out. A lot of people say, well, this wasn't really a good choice for this because, you know, this is a later picture, like from 68 of the Beatles, but I never had a problem with it. I like it. Um, yeah, I'm excited to, to look in there. Let's go. First thing we'll take out is the inner sleeve, which has the songs, all the lyrics, just just the way I kind of remember it, all caps. All right. Then there's an extra sleeve here talking about, uh, let's see, the history. I said sleeve, insert. There's an insert. There's an insert here with the photos. And, you know, it talks about, uh, you know, the history of the Beatles and this, this and that. OK, 
Okay. Now let's look at the colored vinyl. For those of you who haven't seen it, or for those of you who have seen it, let's look again. What the heck? All right. The records are fairly thick. I like that. You know, it's not going to show here, but I can see it against the light. This is kind of more translucent vinyl, you know, which I like. There's even some swerves in here. I got some slight swirls in mine. I don't know if anybody else has the swirls, but uh, there's the red there. Um, I don't know how much justice is being done, as I say, because it looks a little bit more orange this way. And the other record will be the same. But, yeah, um, I can see slight... I don't know if anybody else had that. Like, slight... If you look at the dead wax, I don't know if you can even see it here. No, maybe not. Uh, there's, there's a slight swerviness in there. Like, a slight marbly sw swirl in there. Swirls. Did I say swirl or sw What did I say? Swerve. I don't know what I said. Yeah, that's a little weird. Uh, I just hope it's okay. I like. Yeah, I definitely see, like... Uh, swirls in here a lot of swirls marbly like swirls of the red i wonder if anybody else has that let me know <clears throat> all right so we'll leave this alone figuring that of course the second one will be the same except i think well maybe i should check because second and third discs i should say because there may be different photos there i forget I looked at some other videos, too. Oh, no, of course. I'm sorry. The other ones, obviously, they're just standard inner sleeves. The insert with the photo is only one of those, obviously. All right. So now we're going to open up or look at the blue. Okay, let's do that. And I, always, I like the way, you know, it's tinted. You know, this is... To me, anyway, this is kind of tinted. The picture's tinted slight blue, whereas in the red album, it was tinted slight red, I thought. So I, I like that. And I don't know why at the moment I can't recall if that was the case for the original. It was just black and white. So there we got Beatles 67, 69, really. And now, let us take out the record. Same thing in blue. I know people don't like me seeing grip in the very edge. See, now this is beautiful. I, I like the blue. Oh, wow, the blue is really a knockout. It's a really a knockout. I like the blue even better than the red. This has a this has a little bit of uh, swirliness in it too. Really nice, but I like the blue. To me, the blue pops more than the red pops. And again, I think uh, the camera doesn't do it as much justice. You know, it looks it looks nicer to me in person, so to speak. Well, anyway, that's it. It was nice sharing with you. And uh, am I done with this stuff for this latest Beetle craze? I don't know, because I still want to get the the light blue 7-inch record of uh, Now and Then. So, thank you all for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. There's going to be lots more Beatles goodness to come. Trust me.